Well, here's something funny. Behind this normal spider, there is a, uh, believe it or not, that appears to be a creeper riding a spider. Uh, come back, you silly whatever you are. Come on. Oh, yeah. He's on the spider. What are you going to do? What? Oh. That's so funny. Whoop. Think about. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much what you would expect when the creeper on the back of the spider gets all scared. He's gonna go and blow up his friggin' mount. That was funny. Alright. Uh, okay, I would say officially the Hexit world is slightly demented and a whole lot of fun. Also, super dangerous. You really never know what's gonna come at you next. But I'm just out here tonight reaping. Reaping. Collecting some dough. Collecting souls. Kicking ass. Whatever you want to call it. Anyway, I just thought I saw that creeper uh, on the spider and I figured, okay, that I've got to show people. Because you wouldn't normally believe it if somebody told you. Well, there you have it. Okay, as if that wasn't weird enough, here is a creeper riding a blue slime. Are you kidding me? Oh! -ho! <laughs> the same... <laughs> Same basic effect, but that is funny. Um, sure, that could happen. There's all kinds of weird inbreeding going on. Alright, what's on this spider here? Is that a guy riding a spider? Nah, just a spider spider. Alright. Come on, come on. Alright. Come on, you iron golem. Alright. Again, very funny. Creeper riding a blue slime. Okay, well I was out cruising around a little bit more and I came across, figures with my hands full, I came across a Falling Meteors mod, Meteor Crater. Actually, uh, annoyingly close to my home. But, uh, pretty wild at night these things come crashing down, drop all kinds of weird materials. This one I don't even seem able to break with this tool. But, uh, initially flaming and then they cool off. Yep, that's gonna happen. Yeah, they do eventually uh, cool off and become harvestable. Some of these uh, falling meteors, uh, meteorite blocks, will actually also spawn weird monsters. But, uh, just something new to look for in this world. And while I'm here, just a quick preview of what's to come, I did find behind this other uh, dungeon, just like the one that was at my house, uh, my neighbor, which started off with blazes on the top floor and all that. Check it out in the background. is some kind of an uber castle. I will be returning to that once I gear up a little more. Just some things to look forward to. More adventures. Okay, well, to, to test out this uh, meteorite, this meteor fall, I went, ran back home and created a nice uh, diamond pickaxe, because apparently iron wasn't going to cut it. And came rushing back to see what I could harvest. Now it's interesting, after they're hardened, these seem to be turning into, is that obsidian? Strictly? Yep, obsidian. So you got to get them while they're hot. While they're hot you can get meteorites, uh, meteor chips, and some other things. The Falling Meteors mod is kind of interesting, but also vastly destructive. If you get a lot of these meteor falls, they will just uh, seriously just destroy your world. But I just thought I'd come by and show you quickly what you get out of one of these uh, meteorite falls. I was not expecting actual obsidian. Um, I've an earlier version of the Falling Meteorites mod definitely would produce uh, it would produce specific ores like Krechnerite and uh, freezerite and one or two others but and then it would harden into regular um, some kind of regular meteor block that would give you meteor chips so this is a little bit different than I was expecting but that's the fun of it these things are always evolving so let's see what I managed to pick up from this meteorite fall I got a bunch of Krechnerite chips now the falling meteors mod each of these meteor meteorite types uh, you can make special armor out of and it gives you special bonuses if you create the complete set of armor using any of the me meteor chip types. But anyway, that's an idea of what the uh, Falling Meteors mod is uh, going to give you.
I'm sure there's a bunch more of that red-hot Krechnerite gunk underneath.